but he says you're gonna you're gonna throw the very first pitch ever in this ballpark. His manager's promise. I, I mean, goosebumps just just overcame me. Changed his mind. Even the sight of the unfinished Camden Yards. It's cold. The ballpark's not even complete. Was enough to keep the veteran in Baltimore. Johnny Oates asked me to come back to sign with the Orioles. I had no intentions of doing that. And I walked off and I told my agent, I said, let's do it. I want, I want to sign. I want to come here. 25 years after the meeting with Johnny Oates that changed his life, Sutcliffe returned to the ballpark that forever changed baseball. <laughs> Sutcliffe was back with his Oriole teammates from the 1992 season Saturday to discover the places just the way they left it. It doesn't even look 25 years old. From the virtually unhittable wall. Now that I'm not uh, actually playing, the wall looks a lot closer. That was my target that I really concentrated on. To the fan-friendly bullpen. You're real close to the fans. I know the fans that sit there probably like it, see guys warming up going, oh yeah, I can hit that. Saturday's packed house especially looked familiar. We knew every day we played here, we're coming to play in front of a full crowd. The memories from that tight-knit 92 team. This is a group that's really dear to me. The best close-knit group of guys that uh, I was able to play with. Are still as fresh as the ballpark they played in. Remember one time in Seattle, we were there till like two o'clock in the morning and we actually made a tape ball and went out in the field and played a game of tape ball on the field in the Kingdome. We hung out with each other, we were family. Camden Yards is still at the crossroads of the future. It was an, a, a stadium that people had never seen before. And the past. It felt like baseball had been played here before. The ballpark may be the same, but the team has changed. We're missing a lot. Elrod Hendricks, Todd Froworth, Mike Flanagan. Perhaps no loss greater than that opening day manager. I'm forever indebted to Johnny. Without him, I wouldn't have had the career that I did. One of the most important people not only in my career, but in my life. But this time, Sutcliffe didn't need convincing to toss out the first pitch. Paul Mancano, MassInSports.com.